Uh, what do you think about the livestock there, sir? Well, cattle markets have been uh, relatively quiet, so I wish there was something a little bit more exciting to talk about there. <laughs> uh, it looked like they were going to see some follow-through selling. They did early on from yesterday's session, but are bouncing back, uh, getting near that unchanged mark. We're kind of leaning a little bit more on the sell side or bearer side of the live cattle markets, thinking that we could pull back to that 100-day moving average near 147. There is a bullish seasonal that starts later in the month for the April live cattle contract. So we're kind of rooting for a little bit of weakness over the next couple of weeks to set us up in a better position at better prices to get bullish into that seasonal for April uh, live cattle. As far as the lean hogs go, that's where all the action has been today in the livestock markets. We tripped stops below the recent lows and have rebounded into the positive territory. And if we can get some momentum here into the end of the week and into the weekend, I wouldn't be surprised to see this market get some legs. Talking about seasonals and live cattle, there's also a bullish seasonal in play right now for June uh, lean hogs that we're keeping a close eye on. You just nailed it. They just said wrap in my ear right when you were finishing up. You are perfect. You're going to be invited back. Thank you very much. That's great stuff. Great content, Oliver Slope, Blue Line Futures in Chicago. But I'll speak to you, Oliver. Have a great weekend. We'll bring it back to Nashville.